latest fallout from that epic mistake at the Miss Universe mm -hmm. pageant. Remember, Steve Harvey announced the wrong winner. Well, this morning, the real winner, Miss Philippines, Pia Wurzbach, is speaking out only here on GMA Tolera. Absolutely, George. The new Miss Universe telling her side of the story this morning. We're going to hear from her in just a moment. But first, a look at that unforgettable moment when she won the title. Miss Universe 2015. It was the flub heard around the universe. Columbia! Miss Universe host Steve Harvey accidentally crowning Miss Columbia with the coveted title in December in one of the most awkward moments in pageant history. I have to apologize. The first runner up is Columbia. Miss Universe 2015 is Philippines. Harvey, though, quickly taking the blame, announcing the real winner, Miss Philippines. I will take responsibility for this. Memes quickly popping up across the internet, <laughs> blasting Harvey, the family feud host and comedian, even poking fun at himself in this Christmas Day tweet, writing, Merry Easter, y'all. Now, Miss Columbia speaking out for the first time to a Colombian radio station, calling the incident, quote, a great injustice and saying, it was very humiliating for me and that she thinks the two should share the crown. So joining us now in a morning show exclusive, the new Miss Universe, Pia Wurzbach. Welcome to Good Morning America. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. How does it feel to wear the crown to be Miss Universe? It's surreal. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I can't wait to officially start my reign. And it starts right now. This morning is your very first day on the job. Yeah, and this is my first ever uh, sit-down interview as Miss Universe. Well, thank you so much for being here with us. And I want to get right to it. Take me back to the moment where you got the crown. There's a hesitation. Steve comes out, Steve Harvey, yeah. and says, there's been a mistake. <laughs> and then says, you are the actual winner. Mm -hmm. It was very exciting. Oh, of course, I wanted to win. I joined Miss Philippines three times just to earn the sash that says Philippines. Yeah. And of course, I want to win Miss Universe. In the Philippines, it's a big deal. It's been 42 years since we last won. Yeah. So everybody's been anticipating to finally get the crown, and we finally did it. And initially, Miss Columbia, who was initially crowned the winner, was very gracious. Yeah. Now she's come out and said she's grieving mm -hmm. and that she is devastated. Mm -hmm. Have you spoken to her? Yes, I did greet her on her birthday, which also happened to be Christmas Day. So I was able to uh, ask her how she's doing, and she seems like a, she's she's okay. I understand how she feels. I'm all, also concerned with her, and I know that uh, she's a beautiful la young lady with um, very talented, and I think that she'll have a lot of other opportunities. She'll do very well, I'm sure. So let's put it all to rest right now. What do you want to say to fans of Miss Columbia who are very vocal mm -hmm. on social media? What would you like to say to them right now? Well, I understand how they feel because, of course, they want uh, their bet to win. So that's completely understandable. If it was the other way around, I'm sure the Filipinos would also feel uh, a little bit disappointed with the results. A lot of people have said maybe you should share the crown and, and she agrees with that and of course I'm sure you heard Donald Trump who once owned a <laughs> stake in Miss Universe thought that was possibly a good idea. What's your position on that? I think it would be um, a little bit difficult for two girls to share a crown but I have high hopes that this will give great opportunities for me and Miss Colombia and the rest of the contestants. And I know you're going to be very busy uh, and your platform raising awareness for HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. um, and then what? What's next for you? Did I hear something about being a Bond girl? Oh yeah, well of course, uh, that's also one of my dreams, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. But right now, I'm focusing on, um, I have the whole year ahead of me. I have these causes that I want to um, put some light into, like HIV awareness, and some other causes that I personally believe in, like uh, relief operations for places that are hit by calamities, like the Philippines, mm -hmm. and also cyberbullying. So these are some of the things that I would like to uh, get uh, talk about more as I'm going through my reign. How's that feel? 
that crown? Well, it's a little bit heavy, but I'm not <laughs> complaining. <laughs> I, it can stay there for a long time. <laughs> well, deservedly so. Pia, it's wonderful to meet you. Thank, for, thank you. Thank you so much for coming to Good Morning America on your first day on the job as Miss Universe. Of course. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Let's get thank over to you. George. Very poised young lady right there.